This model review is of the uh, Italeri uh, XB70. This is the Valkyrie. It's 172nd scale because it's a very large model and uh, 78 centimeters uh, in length. This model. And it shows the uh, actual airplane over there, as well as the uh, markings here. There are actually only two of these ever built, and then the program was scrapped. Let's have a look inside. So first of all here we have our decals, and these are very nice decals, they're very well printed, and a fair amount of detail. We even have a very nice instrument panel, as well as the NASA sign. Here are instructions. Long set here. So these are pictures of the parts listing with their numbers, as well as the colors needed to paint. Here's building the cockpit and the wheels, and then putting the front of the fuselage together. Then putting the rest of the fuselage together, the wings, top and bottom of the wings, and these are the uh, air intakes and engines, and mounting that to the wings, then mounting the fuselage to the wings. And these are the uh, flexible wings. These wing tips actually went down. And they help to funnel air underneath, adding to the lift. So you can have them either in the up position or the down position. I think the down position will look very nice. And then putting it all together. Painting and decals. So overall, it looks like a relatively simple model. Let's have a look at the parts. And this bag here, there's a little bit of uh, flashing here, which is unusual for Italeri. You have some recessed panel lines, which are, which are expected for Italeri. Again, some flashing and some mold lines, which is very surprising for Italeri models. And here are the alternates. These are ones with the wing tips up, those were with the wing tips down. These are the tails. And there's some surface detail on here. Here are our uh, cockpit glass options. We have some fuselage parts. As you can see, this is a very large model. Here's the air intake area. Uh, so the bottom of the fuselage, it is, yeah, the air intake area. The bottom here are wheel wells, which have some level of detail in them. These are all recessed, but it feels a bit rough, so it might need a bit of good sanding. And then the. Uh, Exhaust for the engine will go out there. And 
here are our wings, they come in four parts. Those two go together. Let's have a look. A little rough on some of these edges here. There's some surface detail. These are all raised panel lines, which is disappointing. There's some nice surface detail here where the uh, engine exhausts are. Let's have a look at this other underside here. There's some surface detail. And the same for the other wings. This is where the um, fuselage will go. You can see some of the ejector pins need to get sand down, sanded down. So look at the rest of these sprues. Here we have our front of the fuselage. Again, we have some flashing. It's unusual for Italy. Normally, mold very well. Here we have our instrument panel, ejection seats, some of the wheel covers. Here are our exhausts, engine exhausts, and parts of the landing gear, other parts of the exhaust. Front of the uh, wings, these are landing gear again, here are our wheels. Other parts to the front of the uh, wings, additional landing gear and wheels for the other side. Looks like we've had two parts slip out. This part looks like it's broken off here. And then here is our cockpit with some level of detail for the instrument panel.